Hi guys, so I'm back home and we are going to finally, 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 finally build our new bed. I am so excited. Um, so the piece arrived while I was gone and uh, now we're just gonna build it. And I'm so, so thrilled for you guys to see how the new bed is uh, gonna look like. And yeah, I'm excited. Isn't it lovely? Oh my god, I love it so much. Hello, it's Sunday and I'm alone at home with Finn. So I'm going to take him out to a cafe um, and try and sit in the shade because it's already quite hot here in Berlin. And this is my outfit, it's a cute little hat from Mango. Sunglasses are Retro Super Future. Um, bag is La Mer, shirt is Another Stories. Top is Arket, silk trousers are Arket. And then of course, my Birkenstocks. And I hope this kind of keeps me cool. So I have an update because our wall color samples have arrived. Um, it's actually literally just this package. I haven't unpacked it or anything because I thought I would do it with you guys. So remember I had my color consulting with Farah and Ball and uh, we basically picked four colors but finally I will only pick two colors. So we will see and uh, yeah, let's let me open this quickly. Okay, so oh my god, these are so cute. Look at them. Look how tiny they are. So this is kind of the testers that you get. And let me see which colors did I actually get in the end. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, so we got the color matchstick, which is, you can actually kind of see, um, it's, I think one of the darker colors, uh, and then the other darker color is stony ground, which is more of a gray, which I also really like. Um, and then as the lighter colors, we have the new white, I think that's quite a popular one. And the other one is white tie, which is more white, basically, but also really nice. And so after the color consulting, I was recommended that I should uh, put it on like a uh, like on a paper, like on a thicker kind of paper instead of painting it on the wall. But, you know, I don't really listen, so I'll just paint it straight onto the wall mainly because I will paint the wall anyways so I think that will be okay and I will um, be able to see it better I think and I can put it on different spots sort of and yeah we'll see um, maybe it's a stupid idea but I think it makes more sense to put it straight on the wall so well, that's what I'm going to do so now you have the two darker colors next to each other they actually look really really bright um, I feel like I might have made a mistake. I don't know. Maybe I want a bit darker. But we'll see how it looks on the wall in the end. The other colour is the stony ground. Which I think I've heard of by so many people. Ooh. Oh, that's a really nice colour. Hope you can see. We're not supposed to do it like that, but Ooh, I think I think I have a preference, guys. What do you think? 
Wow, it is incredible how like dark these colors actually look on camera. That's crazy. They don't look that dark in real life, if that makes sense. Oh, I kind of like it though. Mm, okay, interesting. So, as you can see right off the batch, I have a preference, which is the stony ground. And I was trying to kind of like see how it would work with the bedside table and overall with like black because obviously our bed is black so you still can't completely see but it is way darker than the other color on top so it's the one thing i'm a bit worried about maybe it's too dark but we'll see um so the color hasn't dried properly yet and it's like a little bit patchy i probably have to paint over it again one more time but uh, it's a really hard decision so i'm really in two minds first i thought maybe i do prefer the bottom one so they really don't come out that nice on the camera but now i'm back with stony ground like the top one uh this one but uh, i'm a bit unsure so I'll definitely have to um, wait for Ed to come home from his work trip to give an opinion on them. But um, yeah. Now these are like the brighter colors. Um, so they will be the majority of the room and probably, well, it, it's all not completely figured out yet. <laughs> But they will be the highlight colors and as you can see the top one is more yellow and the bottom one has almost like a green in it and as you can see they fit very well to my painting um, and yeah so I don't know honestly I'm a bit lost right now so uh, we'll see what in the end we choose I think this one is also like kind of a nice view because you can see the green um, and I think that's also kind of important to consider and once again I think that the top one might be a bit too yellow uh, I prefer the one with the green I think I was just worried that everything would look green but I think it looks still quite like uh, warm and yellow in in this room because we still get quite a lot of um, light in here so, yeah, we'll see. Hello everyone, how are you? I just wanted to quickly come here and talk to you because I want to share um, a beautiful brand with you that sent me some PR samples. Um, the brand is called Altamade and I usually don't really share PR samples or giftings with you because uh, for me it's hard to see if that's any, like if it has any value for you, if that makes sense. But I really wanted to show you this brand because I'm absolutely in love with it and they produce high quality pieces in Spain and um, just everything I received I have loved and you know very often um, when I receive samples either the things don't fit very well because I'm a bit more of a curvy body and very often just all the fashion brands they cut really small and I just don't feel like my best self in the pieces but I received such stunning pieces and I think they all look fantastic and they feel really good and yeah I just really wanted to share the brand with you so
so this is the first dress and it's this stunning uh, thin knitted material and I absolutely love it it has like a little bit of a um, slit on the side but it's not very high and it has the perfect length as a reference I am around 167 um, and yeah I think it it looks so beautiful like it really just folds down and very often because I have a more like wider like thigh and hip area they they won't like fall how I want them to fall if that makes sense but this one is absolutely stunning I'm so happy with it and yeah these are the other pieces so it's a beautiful um, kind of matte satin looking midi skirt oh my god the thunder is really starting now so yeah i don't know we'll have to see if i can use the sound for this one uh, i paired it with like a crop top of mine um but i'm gonna put this um thin summer jumper on for you in a minute um the skirt has like a bit of a like blue tint to it which i don't mind i think it's still very beautiful and the jumper is also Uh, yeah, the skirt has like a blue kind of tint to it and the jumper is actually also more of like a navy than a black, but it's a very dark navy, so I really like it. So this is the jumper. So this is the jumper i also really like it i think it will look so cute with like linen trousers as well or like cute little linen shorts when you're on vacation but you know when you still want to pack like one jumper just in case i feel like this is the one so the potential colors for our new wardrobe fingers crossed um have arrived so i'm gonna have a look at them and obviously kind of take you with me um this is the white so it's a very classic yeah very white white so you know how white sometimes can have a bit of a well yellow bit to it or a bit more blue but this is just very classic white so i really like that and then this is the cashmere beige it's the other color they have and honestly i'm a bit blown away because i thought it might have a bit more of a um, powdery pink undertone but it's basically look my nails match it's like my favorite kind of beige um it's called cashmere beige and I think it is so beautiful I think that's a really really nice color I'm still not entirely sure if we would go with that um, just because I think it's another kind of beige but I'll see how it looks with the color samples but I really love this it has uh, more of a like a green um, undertone to it and goes more into like the grain uh, gray stony kind of beige so I really Really love it. guys um while i was editing the vlog i realized that as always it just weirdly ends and i just wanted to quickly um i don't know give you an update so we have decided on colors and we're now trying to book the person that's going to paint the room and i 
don't have an update on the wardrobe situation as of right now but hopefully that is gonna work out and I will tell you more about it in the July vlog but as you can see um, room renovations take so much longer than you would think and yeah so we started in May and we're still going and hopefully uh, around the end of July I'm praying that uh, it will maybe be a bit more complete and I can't wait and I've also ordered a beautiful beautiful like lounge chair actually it's not a lounge chair it's just a chair I've always wanted that hopefully will find room in the bedroom in the future so I'm so excited and stay tuned for the July vlog see you